one of the most difficult challenges in web development today in this ever-evolving browser landscape where we get new features every few weeks is determining which browsers do you actually support in production. The established standard seems to be two latest releases of all major browsers. So when a feature is supported in two latest versions of Chrome, Edge, Firefox and Safari, that means it's pretty much safe to use in production. But the challenge here is when you're talking about this with clients, you're actually inviting a lot of new questions. What does that mean? to latest releases. Which versions exactly are we going to support? And then you get into awkward conversation where you have to say, well, we're going to support Chrome 170 plus, we're going to support Safari 16.3.1, we're going to support Firefox 107.2. And that makes no sense whatsoever. But luckily, this is exactly where Baseline comes in. And Baseline is a new initiative that will help you determine which features on the web are actually safe to use in production. Baseline defines features that are safe to use in production as features that are supported in current version and a previous version of major browsers, the ones that I just mentioned a bit earlier. So from now on, when you're talking with clients, managers, stakeholders, or just fellow developers, you can talk about browser support in terms of Baseline. So when you say we're going to support features that are part of Baseline, everybody is going to understand, well, maybe not immediately when we still don't know what Baseline is, but with time, everybody will understand exactly what this means. Even starting from today, you're going to see more and more info about Baseline everywhere on the web. When we're talking about web features, you're going to see exactly if a feature feature is part of a baseline or not. In this video, I will explore baseline in its current initial state to see exactly where we are today and where we're going in the future. It's really exciting. Before we dig into baseline, I would like to ask you one important question and that is, which browsers do you support today and how do you determine that? Do you support modern browsers? Do you support latest two versions of major browsers? Do you support IE? Whatever it is that you can share, please share in the comments. I would like to learn more about what you think is important when you're talking about browser support, when you're talking about supporting certain features in production. Baseline was announced at Google I.O. 2023 by Rachel Andrew, and I suggest you watch her talk introducing it. It's as everything that Rachel does, absolutely amazing. So check it out. Idea behind Baseline is that it will be a fixed point in time with a fixed set of features. And as this announcement here states, every year a baseline will be determined. So now the baseline for year 2024 will be determined. And then you can use that point in time, that baseline, exactly as a reference to understand which features your project will support. And this will also give us a nice idea about how the web evolves and which features are becoming available when we're moving from one year to another year as the web develops, as the browsers introduce new features, as new features become supported by all major browsers. You should start seeing information about baseline support on all major resources on the web, like on WebDep, on MDM, and so on. So whenever you'll be reading about a certain feature somewhere in that article, in that guide, you should see exactly the information about whether features used in that article are part of a baseline or not. MDN is already implementing that particular widget and you can see it on some features. It's not available everywhere, but in the coming months, it should become available for all pages across MDN that are talking about certain web features, not just CSS, even JavaScript and so on. So let's see how it looks on CSS Grid example. Immediately at the top, you see information about baseline. So hopefully with time, all the major publications will start implementing this feature and you'll see on Sasha Magazine in CSS Tricks, if CSS Tricks still exists a few months from now, you'll see exactly if the features that are talked about in a certain article are a part of baseline. And this will help you understand exactly if techniques presented are safe to use in production today. I believe that we will see this info on Can I Use as well fairly soon. At least I think we should. I'll open it really quickly. And here we have a grid property open and seeing information about baseline of CSS grid layout one level support somewhere here would be really helpful and really useful. If you want to dig a little bit more into technical aspects of baseline, you can find that on GitHub in web platform feature set project. And I will open feature group definitions. Here you see a list of features and every feature should have information about baseline. Let's open CSS Grid, for example. And here you can see detailed info about that particular web feature, CSS Grid in this example. And most importantly, if it's a part of baseline or not. So the status here is, is baseline is set to true. And we see exactly since when that became a part of a baseline in this particular example, since 2020 or 
since Firefox 77, which was the latest of the major browsers that started supporting CSS script, apparently. So you'll not only have information about whether a feature is a part of a baseline, but also since when. I think it will be really helpful to see information about baseline on technical articles, on videos like I'm making. I'll probably start adding information about baseline in the description, maybe even on the video itself. If you have any suggestions about that, please share them with me. I'll be happy to hear what you think about what anything, including baseline. I hope this gives you an idea about what the baseline is and why we should all be very excited about it. Thank you so much for your attention. My name is Zoran Nyambro. I will see and hear you in the next baseline version, or rather in the next video.